Hello and welcome to episode 73. My name is Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. Well, welcome to this week's episode. I hope everybody's had a lovely week. Um, I seem to have been crafting all week. <laughs> no cooking this week. I've got nothing to share with you because we've been living off all the sort of freezer meals that I've been making and yeah they've all gone now <laughs> so i've got to start and make some more so i have bought some some meat tin and things like that so i probably will be doing some cooking over next week and filling up my freezers again so yeah so i've had a, i've had a good week uh the weather here is quite cold at the minute they do say we are expecting snow at some point i don't know whether we'll get any where i live we don't always get the snow, but uh, it is cold, <laughs> hence why I've got my Udi on again and I've got a nice nice warm cup of Yorkshire tea to keep me going for a little bit. Hmm. Well, like I say, I've been crafting this week and I've actually got some finished objects to share with you, which uh, I'm surprised <laughs> I didn't expect to get um, as many finishes as I have done. And I even finished my book, um, the, the Dinner Lady Detectives. I finished that last, you know, two nights ago. And it was really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I am good. That was book two. And so, yes, big thank you, Dawn. That was a brilliant book. So I am going to get book one. And I'm going to have that one on audio. Audio. Audible, I should say. And I think there's book three... I think there's a book three as well so that'll be the next one I'll have but I've got several books in my library at the minute so <laughs> I've got plenty to keep me going for a while and I started yeah two nights ago and the one I showed you the other week the, the Marlowe Mysteries I think it was and it's really good I am thoroughly enjoying it and I think I've read about seven chapters up to now and it's written by Oh gosh, who was it written by? Robert Thorogood, I think, or something like that. Anyhow, he's the author behind Death in Paradise books and obviously the TV series, which I really like them as well. So, so far, it's very interesting. It's very gripping. <laughs> and yeah, I'm enjoying that. So I will share that with you a bit, probably a bit later when I get a bit further on into the book. So... Yeah, we've already had a couple of murders and we're only, like I say, seven chapters into the book, but it's really good. Hmm. Right, let's get on with the crafting. I'll just pop my tea down there. I think I'll start with... Um, I was going to start with my cross stitch, but I haven't... Oh, I can't find my mat. Just let me get a bit of <coughs> card. Now, <coughs> I have done a bit of cross stitch this week on my Quaker pumpkins so that's what I'm doing not too much I think I spent most of probably Saturday evening doing what I've done um, I haven't touched it <laughs> I haven't touched it since then I did mean to go back well, I've managed to get round the edge of the pumpkin and I've got one motive done, so it's not really that much and I've got a little bit done down the side. Um, I did, oh, Saturday evening, these motives, I, I just went wrong, do you know? I still can't count when it comes to cross-stitch at all. This one was fine. I did this one and I must have, I ended up coming up here. <laughs> and I could not work out where I'd gone wrong and then I spotted it so I unpicked which didn't take too long redid them was fine started on here went wrong did it again went wrong so I went and had a cup of tea and come back to it and perfect those two sides so I thought right well I'm just gonna have a little break from this now <laughs> So hopefully I might try and get back to it next week but we will see because I want to start the bunny sampler one that I shared with you last week 
so that'll be a little bit easier to do so i'm looking forward to doing that but like i said i'm not bothered about not getting it ready for this year it'll be ready for next year which is good so i'll just pop my cross stitch away <laughs> on the back right and the next thing i'm going to share with you is a finished object so i'm really pleased with these i've finished my socks so these are the this is the malloween yarn from green lampkin yarns and you know i've loved knitting these absolutely loved them and yeah they're all finished i've I don't tend to block my socks or anything, but yeah, they're all ready to wear. So I'm really looking forward to wearing these. The yarn is lovely and soft, and I love a bit of sparkle. And yeah, I don't know what else I can say about them really, but I like to only do short socks, and I'm happy with them. So I yeah. am. So the next thing I'm going to knit, obviously, is going to be a pair of socks, but I think what I'm going to do is, uh, well, I've got my yarn, I've decided, I've picked my yarn, and this is the yarn I'm going to do. This is what I had in my Christmas box from Dawn, so thank you again, Dawn. This is lovely yarn. It's from James C. Brett, it's called Funny Feet, four-ply sock yarn, it's got bamboo. And 400 meters on the ball, it's 50% superwash wool, 25% polyamide, and 25% bamboo. And it, it's lovely, it feels so soft. <laughs> so I can't wait to sort of get started on these and well, get them finished so I can wear them. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do over the, the coming week. Is I'm going to split this into two balls and make probably make a start on just getting the cuffs on both socks done. I'm going to try and do them both together, see if I can get on a bit better that way so I don't get second sock syndrome. But the colours are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I don't think I'm doing too bad on my second pair of socks for 2023, which is good so yeah that is another one so we'll get that started and right well we all know who is in this bag don't we little miss bobby <laughs> here she comes well i got my yarn uh, last week i got it pretty quickly so i was really pleased at that um oh, the only thing I haven't done which I forgot to do was stitch her little little bow on on her head. So <laughs> you might see a pin here, so I'll have to do that. <laughs> oh she's got a little bent wing, poor girl. <laughs> so oh god, hold her up. So there she is, little Miss Bobby, all finished. Her little feet done and I've gone for the yellow um, ribbon, you know, oh gosh, what's it called? Bow, flower bow, flat, no, not a bow, ribbon flower in her hair. And I have put this little green, green one round her neck, so I think I'm going to keep that. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, she's very cute. She has difficulty standing up though, so I think she's just probably still a little bit tired from her very, very long nap that she's had. But I am really pleased with her and she will sit with my display now. <laughs> she seems to have got pretty big feet. <laughs> but now I did enjoy doing that, really enjoyed doing that. So yeah, there we go. Uh, and I love these little wings, the way they, they, they turn up, it's very sweet. So I'm just going to pop her back in a, a bag so she can have a little bit more of a nap and then hopefully over the weekend I will get her out and pop her 
on the display. So I'm hoping to get that finished as well this weekend. <clears throat> and my next project is in my bunny bag. So you know what this is. <laughs> if you followed me last week, I'll just find this out. I've come to a bit of a standstill with this. Um, let me just find the picture. There we go. So as you know, I bought a new crochet pattern and it's the little bunny. I mean, that is so cute. I absolutely love that. But what I've, um, what I've done, my crochet is actually a lot better on this one as well. It, it looks nice and neat. So that, that is the top part of the bunny. So I've now I've got to do the green part, which I haven't really got any green at the minute and I know I was going to use this yarn but uh, I've, I've sort of gone off that one I'm going to send for some yarn so I need to have a look online and see if I can find some nice Katona cotton in a nice sort of green spring green and then I can get on with it and all I've got to do on the head at the minute is put the six mil eyes in and then we're ready to go again I mean while I'm waiting for my yarn I can start and crochet the ears so that will probably be something I'll do over next week so I'll, I'm hoping if my yarn turns up in time I will have that finished to share with you so that will be pretty exciting oops I better put the pattern away haven't I? I don't want to lose my pattern that's the trouble when I've got all your bits and pieces when I come out here. I end up leaving bits and then I wonder where my pattern's gone to or my scissors have gone. So. so I better find some eyes out and get them on. So that's that one done. And the next thing I've got to share with you is I actually did a little bit more work on my Christmas trees. that's as far as I've got I've done all of them now apart from this one up here so I, I started that last night and to be honest I couldn't make up my mind what to do on that one because I think according to the instructions it's a, a split stitch which I am doing that but I, I just I just thought oh, I want something different and this one that's supposed to be the the fluffy one when it all sticks out which oh, I, I just didn't really know I tried to do it but it just didn't look right so I probably didn't do it the correct way but I haven't look, sort of looked into how to do that stitch but I, I put um, a green underneath and then I used that nice new uh, floss that I got off Dawn and sort of highlighted it at the top which I quite like that but I'm just thinking because I haven't put any beads on um, I've got that to do so I might do something like that with the top one there I'm going to have to wait and see can't, because I can't make up my mind at the minute what I want to do I'm sure inspiration will hit at some point <laughs> don't know when oh dear so I'll we'll pop that back in my bag and uh, Oh, I think that's all I've done actually. Yeah, I'm sure there was something else. And I can't for the life of me think what else I've been doing. Uh, I think I'll have a nice drink of my tea for a second. Mm. If I have forgotten something, I will pop back on and insert it. But yeah. Hmm. I'll just have a think a minute. I'll be back in a second. And I can't think what the other thing was. I'm sure I made something else, but maybe I didn't. Um, also, I've been working on um, some items with the spring Easter fabrics that was in the, the boxes that I had. Uh, I also would like to say a big thank you to everybody who's purchased one. There are a few more left in the shop if anybody's interested. Um, I have been cutting away fabric sat on the side and what I'm working on is actually sat over there out of camera shot at the minute because I haven't finished 
the makes and I'd like to make everything that I want to make in one go and then share it with you. So that might come in next week's vlog or I might just do a separate video. I don't know yet. It just depends on how much I've got to, to show you. And But I have had some new fabric in this week and what I'll do is I'll put a picture up here or here somewhere so you can see what it is and it's backwater bundles for uh, it's basically for the coronation and it's just sort of British fabric so you've got the crowns on two of them and it's like London Sea so you've got the coach and you've got Big Ben on <coughs> things like that but they look really really nice and also there's a panel for bunting which has got i think it's union jacks and things like that but like i say if i can find a picture of the bunting i will insert that um, but i have got a photograph of the fat quarter bundle which looks really really nice because i know that, like there's a lot of people out there who like to stitch things for sort of special occasions like that so that's some fun fabric uh what else have I got? I don't think there's anything else in the new fabric side to show you, but I have got something that will be going into my shop, my website, probably sometime towards the end of next week because Adele's going away tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, yeah, Friday afternoon. She's off up to Glasgow to do one of her conventions. And I know it's a two day, uh, but I know she's stopping up there for a, a little bit longer. So I don't want to go and put these in my shop. And obviously she's not here to make them. But we've got some tote bags going in the shop. And the first one is the bunny. If you remember, Adele designed me this bunny, um, which was sort of taken sort of from a photograph of my daughter-in-law's bunny pickles which she no longer has now they had to be rehomed because with them moving they hadn't got any space for them so so we've got this one done and it's a nice size tote bag for, for shopping and I'm also going to have the, the teacup bunny as well so anybody's interested in a tote bag and they're not they're not eastery or anything like that it's just the bunny jumping through the flowers and in a teacup so they're really cute and they will be going on the website like i said probably towards the end of next week and i'll probably be having some more coming in as well after that with other designs on which will be nice because you can store your your yarn in these as well not just for your shopping uh, yeah I think that's probably about everything I've got this week actually um, what I'm going to do now is I've got a little bit of machine embroidery to do I've got an order for a little fox so I'm going to leave you with a little bit of machine embroidery and um, seeing how the fox is done so thank you for joining me this week hope you all have a lovely week and uh, hope you get some crafting done and I will see you all next week so thank you for joining me again and bye for now